That road up ahead, in fact, down towards the kill is not far away. There he comes. Can you see him there? Yeah. There he is. Old soldier. Come on, boy. Keep going. There's a meal in it for you if you keep on going. That a lovely shot of a leopard slinking through the bushes. There he comes. Just saying hello to you there, you saw. Kia. Leopards scavenge a lot, all the time, I think. They're really not shy to have a good hard scavenge. And so, yes, I suppose maybe it does increase a little bit as they get older, but none of them will be shy to scavenge, especially from wild dogs, interestingly. Let's see if we can get another view here. Not far from the bush buck now. There he's coming there. You see him, Seb? It's very thick. Let's, should we carry on? This was the little, that was the little path we took down towards, as he crossed the road. There was a little path we took down towards that dry water hole. I think he has, he's crossed. Okay, let's go to the bush buck. Yeah, he's coming for his meal. Yum, yum. How's that? I'm just going to pull off the road because Dylan's also going to need to come and see. Is that right? Here he comes, everybody. Can you see him? No, I'm just saying that to build anticipation. Yes, I can see him. He looks... Here he you see him there? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Debbie, this leopard's nose is exceptional. He's walking straight towards it now. I might be tempted to take my camera out. Very naughty, I know. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm so rebellious. waiting expectantly for the leopard to grab this kill. Will he? Won't he? Yes, he will. Oh, he's missing it. He's going, he's, he's going off behind. This way. Now he's creating jeopardy and suspense. It's over here. Here. Come on. It's just here. No, not there. Getting, cold now. Getting colder. 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 Oh. Maybe his nose isn't so good. Maybe he's just on a random... That's it. That's it. Look right. Look right. Just here. Warmer. No. Colder again. Come on. See, I've got my camera out and everything. He's looking the other way. Now, I don't want to move the car because then all he'll smell is the bowels of Rusty. This way. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's it. That's it. Yes. Turn your head. Yeah. A bit more. That's it. A bit more. A bit more. Come on. No. Colder again. You're only 30 meters away. Mm. I'm sorry about this, everybody. Maybe we should just try and move. I can change the angle slightly. I don't want to get in his way because when he eventually looks this way, 
Au, au. Well, Elizabeth, you're absolutely right. There are too many vehicles. Well, they're not too many, but he's not only smelling diesel, he's now smelling petrol because that's what, um, he's just, li he's lying down. <laughs> Can you see him through there? This. We're not going to move now. He can smell it, he just can't pick it up yet. And the reason he stopped is because the wind is now, that's very interesting. So the wind is coming from the direction he's looking, that's why he's looking into the wind and he can no longer smell it. So it's not to do with the cars, it's to do with the fact that he's, he's no longer down, down <laughs> upwind of the kill. Um, I'm not, I missed the name, but the, the, the thought that he has a cold is an interesting one. Mafuta, you think he might have a cold and therefore is not smelling properly. I think it's more a function of the wind. I don't think he's got a cold. That's hilarious. We're just letting Dylan go past. Dylan's going to watch from the other side. Now he's looking, looking back towards the, the kill, sort of. Come on, fellow. Get on with it. Yeah, he's looking this way. Not far now. He's watching a vulture coming in. Now he's lost the scent because the wind is now blowing in the wrong direction. I'm very pleased we were able to spend this time here. Grace, no, for a leopard, just about anything is edible. The most rotting, foul, rancid piece of meat that you wouldn't uh, feed to your worst enemy, a leopard will eat very comfortably. It might make a slightly smelly poo-poo afterwards, but it won't have any deleterious effects. They have very powerful acidic digestion. So he just made the mistake of taking a wrong turn in the wind and now he's got he's got too far into the wind for him to smell it. If he sees it, of course, all he needs to do is take three steps forward and look right and then he'll see it. But unfortunately his English is very poor and so he's unable to hear me say that. Well, Tweety Kid, yes, so close yet so far. Let's hope for his sake. Come on, Tingana. You know this area. Where do you think that smell could have come from? Think carefully now. The wind has into your face and you no longer smell it. Now, if you think carefully, that must therefore mean that you've either walked past it or you're in line with it and therefore no longer smelling. That's it. You are listening to me now. It is correct. Just stand up now. Come on. Come on. No. Oop. No. Lovely Laurie. I think hooking it to the back of the car and dragging him past it certainly would have the desired effect. I would do it. Except for the fact, of course, that unfortunately Seb would be unable to film it because the camera doesn't film behind us. Otherwise, it would be an excellent plan. <laughs> I am, of course, joking. For those of you who are now utterly scandalized, um, I, I would never do that. He will find this eventually. Look, he's smelling. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. 
and uh, he was asked to draw him a map. That's a very good idea. I should walk up there and draw him a little map. Or just draw an arrow on the road with a picture of a dead bushbuck next to it. <laughs> yes, he's smelling. Come on. Come on, everyone's been parked, hopefully, that waiting to see if he'll come and pick it up. Now there's a car next to the carcass. Yes? Yes, come on. Let's blow towards him. Okay, Sheldon's going to go past, so that's why Seb is just lifting the camera up so that we don't see his guests and they <laughs> haven't signed released forms, which means that if they were to be seen on television they could probably sue us millions of dollars. It's not true. There's a vulture. He's now looking towards the vulture. <sighs> oh no, colder! Uh... He's going to get it now, watch. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that shortly his olfactory senses are going to kick into overdrive. on the radio before all of these fellows come from the north stations I am on the eastern channel and Tangana has crossed south into Chitwa like I say I'm not sure how much longer we're going to be allowed to be here I must just call in on the radio hmm? Well, Sitting Bull, yes, to a certain extent the vultures would guide him to the kill, but they're not sitting above the kill, you see. He will look around where they are, but he's not going towards... They are not above the kill. So he's looking at them and thinking, what are you guys looking at? And uh, while, you know, I have the greatest respect for the intelligence of a leopard, he's not... I doubt he's looking at their eyes, thinking, you know, sort of trying to triangulate from there. He's picking something up on the way. Oh, 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 yes, you see, he's getting the odd molecule of rotting bushbuck is reaching his nostrils, and then, then the wind blows it away. I think we must wait patiently here. I don't think we should move just yet. He's so close. Now the wind's blowing the wrong way. Now, Tengana, logically, if you can't smell it anymore, that's it. If you can't smell it anymore, it means you've gone past it. Okay? Up and down. Up and down this road. <laughs> Somebody is calling... Somebody's... Somebody's calling in fresh tracks of the leopard crossing in here to us, but we have him, which is very nice of them. Sorry, Kirsten, the game drive radio exploded in my ear again. Please, would you go again with that? <laughs> yes, Keir, I know exactly what you mean. Um, the... <laughs> it's... It does remind one of Mr. Bean trying to get down the stairs with all those old people in front of him. I remember that episode. It's deeply frustrating because you can see the conclusion of the story and yet he, the main subject of the story, refuses to see it for you or with you. Yeah. Ooh, okay, this is good. I'm going to wait here because what he's going to do, he keeps down... 
this path. He's going to pick it up again. Come south. Yes. No. No. A hopeless effort from a cat that found the impala carcass the other night. Now he's gone to sleep. Oh. As uh, Kirsten says, great leopardy. Well, she's trying to be very funny there, uh, using, of course, the word jeopardy instead of leopardy. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. Shall we move? Need to find out if there are any other stations here. Is there any station on standby for this Tingana sighting? Bushbuck's still there, hasn't moved. It's not very surprising. It's difficult to move with no internal organs and a missing front leg. Anyone on standby? Yeah, Okay, we'll move out. We'll move out. Cool. Okay, everybody, there are lots of people waiting to come in and see him, so we're going to head out. See what else we can see, you know, we might be lucky. Maybe those doggies will pitch up again. <laughs>